Hello everyone! Today we are going to talk about one of the most important macromolecules, namely DNA. We'll show you how to extract and visualize it using only basic household items without any complex or special reagents. We are going to convince you that it is possible to study biochemistry not only in the laboratory, but simply at home. We have a box that contains all reagents, but excluding the food ingredients since we can find soft fruits, such as berries, in our own fridge. We'll use bananas, but instead of bananas, you can easily take some berries or other soft fruits. So, let's take a look inside the branches box, which contains liquid dish soap, salt, isopropyl alcohol, zip bags, gloves, filters, and water. Firstly, let's start with the preparation of all necessary solutions. Mix liquid soap with water. Then add a spoon of salt. Mix everything carefully until the salt is dissolved. Put the alcohol in the freezer at least for 20 minutes in order to cool it down. Put the banana into a zip bag because not all the cells are on the surface, we need to smash it gently and release the cells from inside. Moreover, because plant cells, unlike animal cells, are surrounded by a rigid cell wall, it's important to mechanically damage it and allow the reagents to interact and destroy the cell membrane in later steps. Now we need to get rid of cell membranes. The cell membrane, unlike the cell wall, cannot be damaged mechanically, only chemically. And that's why we will use soap mixture to actively destroy it. Now add prepared soap mixture to the smashed banana in the zip bag and mix intensively. We learned from our previous biochemical lecture that soap molecules have a very special hydrophobic hydrophilic organization, which is very similar to the same dual nature of lipids in the cell membranes. If you haven't seen the video, you can click here. During this step, soap cells tear off membrane lipids, which make the cell membrane fragile and subsequently destroys it. Moreover, in the same manner, soap kills bacteria on our hands during washing. Sodium chloride, table salt, displays proteins that are tightly connected to the DNA and which are responsible for DNA storage and condensation in the cell. After the removal of such proteins, DNA becomes unentangled. Because DNA is a soluble molecule, from now it is dissolved in water and is invisible to the naked eye. Let's filter the mixture to the bottle in order to remove large particles.
Keep in mind that filtration may take several minutes and probably you will need several filters. Now that we have this mixture, we need to extract DNA from it. In order to do this, gently add ice cold alcohol and try to layer it over the previous solution. If you will do it accurately, in the upper face a whitish jellyfish-like structure will appear. Congratulations! This substance is the DNA itself. This reaction is possible because DNA is not soluble in isopropanol, and in the presence of table salt, DNA will sediment. However, isolated DNA is not fully clean and still contains some protein contamination. Usually, researchers use some specific enzymes, such as proteinase, which is able to cleave peptide bonds that connect amino acids in the proteins. Thus, they remove proteins and obtain pure DNA without any additives. You don't have to do it only with fruits. You can try it with other food, such as chicken liver, peas or broccoli. But make sure to use a blender in order to release the cells. Thank you for being with us. See you on the next Bear Branches lesson.